I asked you a question. If you don't answer, I'm gonna take the crayons away again. Please to repeat the question, Herr Doctor. What are you drawing? It's a little girl. She's my friend. Why'd you draw her eyes like that? She dead. Oh no, no, no. She's dreaming. What is she dreaming about? Me? Why would she dream about you? The sweetest little lassie I've ever seen. She's my darling little lady and her name is... Our time together here is nearly over, Doctor. It's time for me to go frolic again. Your dad's gonna go to your soccer game tomorrow. <laughs> really? Yes, and then he's gonna take us both out for ice cream. <laughs> Can I stay up to say goodnight to him? No, sweetie, but he'll be here tomorrow morning when you get up, okay? You go to sleep now. Good night, dear. Good night, Mom. Yes, this is Dr. David Monk. I have kind of a strange request. Yes, I'm here. Great. Thank you. So, 
but I'm late. It's okay. I had to pack up. I've just got this last report to write up and then I'm done. Do you want some dinner? Because I made... No, maybe later. Interview number one, Forensic Psychiatry Division, Knollgate Correctional Facility. Patient's name is undetermined and will be designated in all pertinent records as John Doe. No medication presently being administered, possible recommendations to follow. Patient is compliant on certain conditions. You know what, doctor, we should, we should probably skip all the vital statistics stuff and move on. Well, I feel uncomfortable not knowing what to call you. Well, I'm, I'm Johnny Doe, don't you know? I was in all the newspapers, you know, I'm, I'm notorious and stuff. Okay, I guess you're just gonna have to be comfortable with that. Well, it's my job. I have people to answer to. sympathies, doctor. You really do. All right, maybe this will help. Um, there once were some children who knew me as Peter. Oh, I loved frolicking with those little darlings. You know, I just hate to see them all growing old. Save them all from that atrocious fate. So how you fixed, Doc? Fixed for what? For kids. estate agent that just called. They accepted our counter offer and we could close in as soon as two weeks. That's great. Yeah. Is that the one? Yeah. Will you be working much longer? I don't know. Um, a little while. How's Colleen? She's fine. Okay.
is it? It's a stairway. Can't you tell? Now where does it go? Well, up to the stars. Well, sometimes other places. Ain't you got no imagination, Big Daddy? I'm gonna join the others. I wanna meet some new kids. They might not wanna meet you. They might wanna hurt you. I mean, what if they're meanies? I ain't afraid of meanies. I can handle them real good. You spend a great deal of your time alone, John. That must be difficult. I ain't never alone, Doc. I can talk to anyone I want, anytime I want. Yeah, and what about Ryan? Was he a meanie? No, Ryan was a friend of mine. I took him frolicking with me. You know, it is so much easier to make friends with kids than it is with adults. Yeah, and where do you go when you frolic? It's a secret place. I bet it's like nothing you've ever seen. It is out of this world. That's where I'm from, Doc. You should see them when they get there. It's beautiful. They are so awestruck. No, that's not how Ryan looked when the police found him. In that dumpster where you left him. That wasn't Ryan. That was just a suit he was wearing, and I had to let him out. You mean you had to kill him? This is when the frolic begins. I keep it going as long as I can. And they love it while it lasts, but... It's just like after a while, they, they, they dissolve or something. I don't know, maybe just having too much fun, I guess, but... That's when I have to find a new special friend. You finished? I'm sorry about bringing this home with me. Well, it's the last one, right? Thank God. I don't think I could do this again, not after this one. Did I tell you how they found him? No, nope, and I don't want to know. He was leading a young girl off a school playground when someone noticed that he had blood on his clothes. It was the blood from the last kid he took. When the police apprehended him, the little girl he was with, she cried. Not because she was afraid, because they were taking away her friend. She wanted to go with him, Leslie. The guy was stinking of blood, and the little girl, she still wanted to go with her special... I'm sorry. I've been thinking. Before we move, we should go on vacation. Take Colleen someplace she'd like, someplace fun. I feel like I haven't seen her in forever. Yeah, that, that sounds nice. Okay, well. I should finish. Do you mind turning up the thermostat on your way out? I'm freezing. And again, where I'm from, it's a night chilly all the time. And where are you from? Not from around here, that's for sure. Do you have any idea why you're here? Because I choose to be. I'd leave here anytime I want. 
Why don't you then? Just thought I'd need a little rest. I've been frolicking rather hard lately. Besides, I'm quite enjoying our time together here. You and I. So tell me, Doctor. How is that little daughter of yours? Or is it the son? No, no, it's daughter, I think. Yeah. Does she have many special friends? It's none of your business. Well, I'm sorry, Doctor. I thought we were friends. I don't make many friends with grown-ups. <laughs> children are much easier. I mean, children, they, they can't have too many special friends. be kind of cold in here after all. It's actually too bad that uh, we're moving away because Colleen is finally starting to make friends. Oh, yeah? She even has a boyfriend, but she won't tell me his name. She calls him her special friend. Isn't that cute? He even got her a stuffed animal. She took it to bed with her and everything. Stuffed animal? Mm-hmm. A deer. Well, a doe, actually. Time to get it here is nearly over, Doctor. It's time for me to go frolic again. <laughs> 